Hi, this is Eric Matisoff with Adobe, and I'm here to walk you through just a couple of the recent innovations that we have with the flow pathing reports that exist within Adobe Analytics. In just a couple of days, we'll be releasing these new features, and here's a glimpse into where we're heading. The first thing that you'll see is that I've pulled in a flow visualization here into my project with an analysis workspace. This is done really quite easily just simply by switching on over to visualizations, finding the flow visualization, dragging and dropping it into your workspace. Now once you're here you can very easily just simply take any dimension, page, browser, um, any evars or props, etc. and just simply drag and drop it on over. And note that, that if it's a dimension, you'll have the ability to drop it as an entry in the middle or as an exit. So for this example, I'm gonna drop it in as a page example here. And we can see that just um, like that, we can see all of our different pages in the standard flows. The highest access page for this website happens to be the search results page, which is why it's automatically selected by Adobe Analytics to show the flow visualization coming from search results. Yet, if I use Command-Z to undo that, I can actually click the arrow here next to the page and select any other page um, to start with. So for example, if I care more maybe about my home page and where users are going to and coming from for the home page, I can drag and drop there as well. Now, as I've got my flow visualization and I begin doing my analysis. There's a few things that you'll notice. First of all, as I hover over each of these different items, I can very quickly see all the pertinent information for that particular path. If I find one, for example, here's search results, no results, I can click that and continue on my, on my way. I can also choose to see additional pages here as well by clicking on this um, more button at the bottom. One thing um, you'll also notice is that you still have the ability to take any other dimension and mix and match it within your flow. So I've got browser here. I can actually drag and drop that right on top of the left dimension and I can see all the different browsers that are then driving these visits to home and then search results, etc. Now this is really quite valuable for me as an analyst, but what you'll notice is that sometimes we're purposefully truncating the labels on each of these different values. So for example here, we've got search results and then we have search dot 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 results. When I hover over it, I can see, oh, that's, that's uh, search results, no results. Now I can do the same thing down here, editorial page, beat the cold editorial page, essential uh, camping essentials, etc. But when looking at it without hovering, it can be quite difficult to compare all of these different items. So what we've recently done is added in the settings box the ability to disable that label truncation. So you'll no longer be looking at Microsoft uh, or micro lower number eight. We can click this checkbox and now it says Microsoft Internet Explorer 8. See that difference? When I uncheck it, it's gone, and it's a little harder to look at. And I check it, now it's easier to look at, and I can see all the letters. Just one of the fun innovations that we have coming to you very soon within Adobe Analytics.